Mike, what are you doing? You said you wanted the next monthly minute to be on washing walls. No, no. Wall washing as in lighting. That makes more sense. <laughs> hey, while you're at it, you missed a spot. Now I think I understand what Greg was talking about. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Donovan, and this is Mike's Monthly Minute. This month, we're gonna talk about some lighting techniques, specifically wall washing versus wall grazing. And then we're gonna get into some of the products that we have developed for those situations. Now, why is lighting a wall so important? Well, when you light a wall properly, you can actually make a space feel bigger. Uh, you can make it feel brighter, and you can eliminate that cave effect. So today, what we're gonna do is talk about two primary techniques for lighting a wall properly. Above me here is the Jenna fixture. The Jenna fixture is made for those applications when you're gonna plaster it into the ceiling, where it actually becomes part of the architecture. You're gonna see how clean and true and flush that looks on the ceiling and how you have no glare whatsoever. Now the Jenna fixture is specifically designed to be mounted 36 to 40 inches off the wall, 32 inches on center. When you do that, you get uniform illumination on the wall and you eliminate all the scalloping. The Jenna fixture is a halogen fixture, which makes dimming a breeze. We also have a new LED product called the Pure Channel Wall Wash. It's a low profile surface mounted linear system with an asymmetric lens that kicks the light uniformly from the top of the wall to the bottom of the wall. It has minimal surface brightness, utilizes class two wiring with a remote power supply. The Pure Channel Wall Wash is 5.5 watts per foot, so it's very energy efficient, and it's easily dimmable with a zero to 10 volt dimmer. It can be specified from 12 inches up to 120 inches, depending on the size of the wall. So we're talking about two distinctly different lighting techniques. Wall washing is used to flatten out a wall, and wall grazing, which is specifically used to bring out those textures, and you usually have that fixture right up against the wall. Now, if you were to take a wall grazer and use it against drywall, you will highlight all the imperfections on that wall. Essentially, you're gonna see bad texture. Here's an example of good texture. We use a wall grazer anytime we want to create a dramatic lighting effect. We're going to use a wall grazer when we have a featured wall, something that has some texture to it, a brick, a stone, or a textured piece of wood. The first fixture I'm going to show you today is the Stratus by Pure Lighting. Now, like all Pure Lighting products, we're going to recess this into the ceiling. We're going to create a pocket cove. It's going to become part of the architecture itself. Now the Stratus is 14 watts per foot, and it comes in a four foot and a one foot version. So essentially what you can do is have this any length at a real high ceiling up to 40 feet and still get that light, usable light down all the way to the bottom. The Stratus comes in two different color temperatures, 2700 degree Kelvin for a warmer wall and 3000 degree Kelvin if you have a cooler wall like the one that I have behind me. We can also do the Stratus in an RGB version. Now the Stratus is a really powerful fixture and we use that on mostly on higher walls from 10 foot and above. Here's a great one that you can use on those lower ones. It's the Edge Lighting Micro Grazer. Now it's a seven watt fixture, it's 24 volts and it's fully dimmable with a zero to 10 volt dimmer. It has a tight 10 degree beam spread and can be ordered between 12 up to 120 inches. And also is great for those lower walls, say a fireplace that has a nice brick or a stone to it. Well, thanks for watching. That's Mike's Monthly Minute on wall lighting. You know, I never did finish washing that wall. Has anybody seen my bucket? Greg, what'd you do with my bucket? Just whistle while you work. And cheerfully together we can tidy up the place. So I'm a merry day. It won't take long when there's a song. So